Good fishing, Charlie. Oh, that's better. Hey, if you two are planning to head across to the other side, I wouldn't. Uh, how's that? Oh, I was heading that way myself, but phew, there's something dead over there. And it's been dead a long time by the smell of it. Uh, thanks for the tip. Come on, Aaron. Let's go over to Frenchman's Bay instead. Yeah, it should be okay there. The wind's blowing inland. Come on. Oh, bury it. All of it? You can smell this stuff five miles out to sea. Someone with a better nose than Charlie might get the impression there's a horse around here. It's a dead giveaway, son. Anyway, here's your mates. They'll help you. To do what? Bury this manure. Oh, what? All of it? Well, it's no problem to big, strong lads like you. You can't bury it, Mr. Brinkman. The dry feed you give Jackie has oats and other things in it. If the seeds sprout, they might wreck the whole island's ecology. Well, how about we tow it out to sea, then? I wouldn't like to swim in that stuff, would you? Then we're stuck with it. <laughs> I don't know why you're so happy. If we don't solve this in the next 24 hours, you might be looking for a new home. Either that or a very large cork. You wouldn't send her away from Circe? Might have to at this rate. Deep in the bowels of the earth, over millions of years, treasures have been forming. Rubies and diamonds and... When's your birthday, Geraldine? May 15th. That makes your stone an emerald. You need to take a pick and If we can't bury it or sink it, we're going to have to transport yeah. it off the island somehow. Yeah, what are we going to use to move it? It's huge. I don't know, but... Don't, don't tell me. Let me guess. The Aries is dominant. A born leader. Highly organised and a little bit bossy. Do we have anyone here like that? Your stone is the diamond, Sandy. Do you know about a wonderful Argyle diamond found right here in Western Australia? I knew Mum was a diamond because my grandmother told me. That's why she gave me her diamond ring. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Get her. She did. It's worth thousands. I'll bring it in and show you if you don't believe me. Okey dokey, yeah. Sandy. Yes. Yep. I mean, who'd give a ring like that to a kid your age? I get it when I'm 18. So it's not yours yet, is it? My grandmother left it to me in her will. It's probably just a piece of old glass. Well, goodbye, Pinky. Thanks for sharing that. They use cow pats for fuel in some countries. Paws pats should burn if they're dry enough. You're joking, right? What's the big problem? If we can't move the horse poo out of Jackie's yard, then Mr. Brinkman's going to move Jackie. Wait a minute. I've got an idea. Oh, you guys have got to back me up. Oh, there, there. Of course they don't hate you. They just don't like you much. Uh, Mrs. Mabs, we were wondering, have you ever thought of having a garden here at school? It's pretty barren soil, my land. It's mostly sand. We were stationed in Israel once. Uh, they were reclaiming the desert in big chunks. Oh, to make the desert bloom like a rose. Now that's a noble challenge. So can we try that here, Mrs. Mabs? Grow a garden? Here? Yeah, reclaim the desert. Oh, what a wonderful idea. But we'd have to cherish and replenish Mother Earth. She wouldn't yield her bounty without love and care. And fertilizer. Yes, fertilizer. Compost, lawn clippings. Animal manure. Horse manure. Of course, that would be ideal. Well, there it is. It's all yours. Forget it. You promised to help, but I didn't know it would look like this and smell like this. You don't care if Jackie goes, do you? You don't care if we lose her forever. And if she goes away, she'll be in real danger. Someone's already tried to nobble her once. Mr Brinkman's cracking hearty. But he'd hate to see all his work go to waste. He's only got Jackie because he can hide her here. All right, but you have to let me organise it. Does tomorrow after school suit everybody? Yes. Yeah. Bring your own shovels and clothes pegs. Wow, oh, look at it, Sandy. See, I told you I had a diamond ring. Are those real diamonds? Of course they are. Wow, it must be worth a packet. Thousands. My mum had it valued. And she's going to chuck a real mentor when she realises that you snuck it out of a jewel box. It is my ring. Not until you're 18. And we'll kill you if you lose it. But I'm not going to, am I? Mm -hmm. 
Come on in, ladies. Don't be shy. We're waiting for the library. You'll be waiting a long time. The nearest library's on the mainland. Not anymore. Mrs. Liang has organised a mobile library for Cersei Island. What'd she do that for? So we don't have to buy your dog-eared second-hand paperbacks at a terrible price, Charlie. Yeah, but will it have the range I've got? Charlie, you haven't got a range. All you've got are westerns and sloppy romances. So much for customer loyalty around here. Hmm. Oh, excuse me, Mrs. Mapps. Um, we might be able to get that animal manure today if we could possibly leave school a little bit early. Mm, that might be possible, Gavin. Oh, how I'd love to grow roses. Well, these are all very well, but... Oh, for the scent of roses. Oh, they're pure, bright colours of them. Oh, roses for the flush of youth. And laurel for the perfect prime. But pluck an ivy branch for me, grown old before my time. Sandy, aren't you flower monitor this week? Even native blooms need water, you know. Hello, Mrs. Mabs. How are the stars treating you? What book are you after? Book? Um, oh, it was on the tip of my tongue. Something on astrology? Palmistry? Astral travel? No, it was something more down to earth. Earth, 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 earth. Something on dogs? No, a book on cultivating roses. Good afternoon, everyone. I'd like you to meet Travis Collins, our traveling librarian. Now, who would like to go first? Mrs. Mapps? I'd like a book on growing roses, thank you. Roses. Mrs. Liang will give you a card filling. Not trying to grow roses on Cersei Island. Among other things, the children are so keen. The soil's impossible. You'll need a ton of fertilizer. I grew a rose here once, a Cecil brother. I knew it could be done. The desert can be made to bloom. You didn't grow it in Cersei soil. You grew it in potting mix in a pot. Died anyway. That was because you forgot to water it when I was on holiday. At least you said you forgot. Well, surely you can grow anything if you have enough fertilizer. I could. I doubt if she could. Listen, Bessie Archer. Anything you can grow, I can grow better. There you are. Well, we're just. What about you, Mrs. Liam? Well, if you have another book on cultivating roses. Waste of time and money. Why didn't you tell me the school's going to start a garden? I didn't think he'd be interested. I'm interested in any business opportunity. Look, you've got to recognise an opening, Pete, and go for it. With everyone going gardening mad, I'm a moral to sell plenty of fertiliser, weed control, pesticides, Granddad, it'll be a gulp. I wouldn't go overboard on the fertiliser. I can get a special price on Improvador if I buy in bulk. I'll make a packet. Granddad, I wouldn't stock up on the fertiliser right now. You wouldn't, Geraldine, but I've got the business head around here. Yeah. You're only a girl. You'd probably find a better business head on a wallaby. <laughs> wallaby? <laughs> Fine. On your own business head be it. It's got bigger. And smellier. It's horrible. Well, what did you expect it to smell like? Roses? Mm -hmm. No. All right, people, you know what to do. We fill the bag and put some in the dinghy. Right. Then Geraldine takes the dinghy around the island and approaches the beach as though she's coming from the mainland. Milan and Chris will be there to help her unload. And what are you going to do, Sandy? Supervise. Typical. I'm not doing this for myself, you know. We know, we know. We're doing it for Jackie and so Mum can have a garden. Ow! Oh, Sandy! Right. Now, form two. One to bag and one to shovel. Anyone have a problem with that? No. the hands of a musician. Forget the hands and put your back into it. Why don't I put your face into it? You're right. It's almost halfway gone. How many more meters to go? Oh. I'll forget I asked. I don't want to know. No! Ready for the next trip, Geraldine? Yeah, yeah. We 
did it. I can't believe it. We actually did it. So red, the roses where some buried Caesar bled. If you say so, Mrs. Mabs, and I've got just the fertilizer to help you grow them. Improve it all. How many bags would you like? Well, to tell you the truth, I may have access to some chemical free manure, and I would prefer that naturally. Uh, but you couldn't get anything better than this. It's the best on the market. For free? Are you sure? Yeah. And absolutely natural? Uh huh. I won't be needing your fertiliser, Mr. Puckran. Thanks all the same. <laughs> and what was that about? Something's going on, Pete. Something I should know about. See what you can find out. It's pretty whiffy. I've changed your nappies, darling. This isn't going to worry me. Mum! Where did you get this precious cargo? From a stable associated with Rockingham Racecourse, Mrs Mabs. Mr Brinkman told us they'd be glad to get rid of it, providing we move it ourselves. That shows real initiative. I'm proud of you. Hermes, do you know anything about roses? Lovely flowers, Mrs Leon. Famed in song and story. Ah, oh, do you know anything about growing them? Yes. I'm quite a green finger when it comes to gardening. Ah, then you know they need a lot of feeding. This book advises animal manure, though where we get that, I don't know. Miss Hurley says it's more precious than gold on this island. Well, that shouldn't prove too difficult. Not when one has the ways and means. Have you? Oh, good. I'll go and order some roses right away. <laughs> Can you help me with my garden? Horsey, beg your pardon. Can you help it to grow? How are we today, Fang? Eating well? Digestion system working, I trust? Fang! Fang! What have you done with it? Oh, 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 oh. Like manure. Isn't it wonderful? The children are going to dig it in for me. I'm not going to dig all of it in. The manure! How much? F five dollars a bag? It's arrived! The fertilizer! It certainly has. But it's going fast. Miss Hurley's ordered two bags. Has she indeed? Mm -hmm. Well, I'll have three. Good. That'll be three bags at $10 a bag. Charlie, cancel my order for the fertilizer. Don't want it anymore. Charlie Puckering, what's wrong with your fertilizer? Nothing at all. It's the very best. Now, there's normally a delivery charge, but for a good customer like you... I've changed my mind. Cancel my order. <laughs> The rose bushes have arrived, but not the manure. I'm sorry, Mrs. Leon, but circumstances completely beyond my control. What circumstances? My supplier was fresh out, but I'm sure there'll be another delivery very soon. I hope so, Hermes. I'd like to get those roses in the ground. Come along, you two, over here. This way, this way, hurry along. Now put them in there, please. Agreed price, I believe. Thanks, Miss Helly. Bye bye. Ten bucks. Talk about. 
about the horse that laid the golden poo. <laughs> Not as if we have a limited supply. <laughs> so how much have we made so far? Well, two bags for Miss Hurley, that's ten dollars. Mrs Archer took three, that's fifteen. Oh yeah, and Mr Spratford took five. <laughs> so all together that's fifty dollars. <laughs> I told you this was a good thing. We can make a fortune out of Jackie. We could get new equipment for the band. Oh yeah. Sandy, weren't you wearing that ring? Mr. Brinkman helped them to get up from the Rockingham race course. And they got heaps of it. Bags and bags. I can murder that Geraldine. She knew all along, not a word of warning. Yeah, and you're her granddad too. Mum's gonna kill me! Think, did you have it when we were shoveling the manure over at the stable? I don't know. I got some of it on my hand and I wiped it on one of those bags. Oh, it could be anywhere in all that poo. I suppose we'd better start looking through it. What do you mean? No way, not me. You want us to check out that manure? I don't remember you getting your hands too dirty when we were bagging it. Yeah, you check it out, we'll supervise. Oh, come on. We're all in this together. Yeah. 2468, bog in, don't wait. Good girl. Good girl, Fang. Just a little something for your old friend Hermes. Hmm? <laughs> Just a little token to show how much you care. Hmm? Give it a try. Please. I'd do the same for you. I'm not asking for myself, you know. Think of the roses. <laughs> Keep looking. I can't we're doing this. It's hopeless, Sandy. Maybe it's in the load we talked to Miss Hurley. Or the bags you gave Mrs. Archer or Mr. Spratford. Well, feel free to look. We're not stopping you. Aren't you guys going to help? No, 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 All I can say it was a good try. But haven't we saved her? The manure's going to build up again. Then we'll dispose of it again. It won't work, Milan. You kids can't keep on toting manure all over the island without somebody waking up. I mean, young P.P., for example. Once he knows, Charlie knows. And once Charlie knows... Everybody knows. And it's goodbye, Jackie. <laughs> yeah, especially since we put him out of the fertiliser business. Exactly. Run that by me again. Hermes, I've been waiting for you. Do you have the manure? I have indeed, Mrs. Leon. <laughs> I've been talking to Miss Hurley. She has a source of her own. A plentiful source, I believe. Supplies are just a bit low. I need a little more time. <gasps> Please don't trouble yourself any more, Hermes. I'll use Miss Hurley's suppliers. Ah, oh, you dirty mongrel. Wait a minute. What have I done? Left me with this. Two tons of fertilizer on my hands. I've had to sell it back to the suppliers at a terrible loss. While you, you've been exploiting child labor to undercut me left, right, and center. Oh, you mean the manure? Well, to tell you the truth, Charlie, I didn't realize I was undercutting an old man. Yeah, it's a mongrel thing to do. Oh, I agree. But I reckon I should make it up to you, Charlie. You know, I've been getting my supplies from the Rockingham Racecourse, and I'll admit I've been getting the kids to sell it. But it hasn't worked out, you know, kids. Yeah, irresponsible ratbags. Yeah. So I thought maybe if you could handle it, I could let you have all this at a very reasonable price. How's that grab you? How much could you supply? Well, not a lot, but it'll be regular. It's a deal. 
And Charlie's taken over full responsibility for distribution and he'll never know the jackies he saw to supply. Should be a good little business for all of you, eh? Cool. cool. What's happened to Sandy? She looks as though she's lost a quit and found a farthing. It's a lot worse than that. Why don't you go and play with the others, Pepe? I'd rather be with you, Mrs. Mabs. They're rotten. Do you know what they call you? Mad Mabs. They did at the other school. If I was you, Mrs. Mabs, I'd stop them. Yes, but you're not me, are you, dear? Let's chuck this flower water out, shall we? Yes, Mrs. Mabs. <laughs> Today. Yes, I did, Mrs. Mavs. My ring! It must have slipped off your finger when you changed the water. Thank you, thank you, Mrs. Mavs. Do you mean to say, after all we went through, making us feel guilty for not helping you more? You just dropped it in a vase? Yes, it wasn't lost after all. Isn't it fantastic? Oh, oh dear. Yeah! Oh! 